Hello everyone, this is a quick real world scenario for transferring your local Spikesworks installation. Maybe you installed Spikesworks after watching the help desk course and you installed it and now you had it running so good. You talked to your IT department and they want to use Spikesworks. Now you would like to move that installation to another server. So to move the Spikesworks local installation to server, uh, you need another server first and like I said I have the server and I ran the installation on that server so you, what you need to do is you need to install Spicework from scratch you will install the Spicework from scratch um, we have done that so many times in our videos and from there when you install it you need to go to your program file you'll see x86 Spicework and you will delete two folders from there one is data and the other one is DB you will uninstall that from the new installation without running spike source make sure nothing is running you install it if it's running close it down close the services and just remove data and DB from the new server this is a new server there's nothing in there right now okay so we're gonna go back to our uh, local installation this one and we are going to go to this backup right here this is the backup that I would like to go on my computer that is basically a um, local computer so when you go to your local computer there you'll see your backup and this is the backup that I just did now if you don't see this and you see something really old you can just go back in there and if you scroll down click on backup now and this will create a backup for you okay so when you do that you'll see right here I just did that like a few minutes ago so all I need is this backup and if I double click on it whoops if I open it let's see if I can open it this way open archive there you go there's the data and DB that are the, these are the two folders that you need because you have all the information all that stuff that you uh, have in this computer and everything is nicely done um, this is how you are going to do it so before doing that what we will do is we are going to go ahead and click on here right click here and we're going to say exit Spiceworks we're going to stop it from scanning so in this computer I just stopped the Spiceworks um, I want to see if anything else is running I can go here go to task manager and I will look for anything that is related to Spikesworks and okay too many things but I don't see anything okay so that's good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to my server. Now you could do this. You could, you could, if you have server in front of you, you can copy this into USB, plug it in there. You can use a share. I would use a share. I'm going to go to my uh, start menu, put a server name in there, and then I'm going to paste this into the server. So I'm going to do that, and then the rest I'm going to do it on the server. So I am on my server share. I'm just going to type Spiceworks. here I'm just gonna say Spiceworks click here I'm gonna go ahead and click paste and that database is just uh, sorry that data that was backed up is moved to that server now I'm gonna go back to my server okay and I am going to go to my let's see I think it's in my documents BC I'm gonna go here right I don't know why this is not coming up okay we're gonna go to documents here deploy and we're gonna go to Spiceworks and here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to extract all files into that same folder
Now, just for learning, this could be any other application. They might have their own documentation, so you need to follow that documentation to move stuff. Now, who basically work on this type of calls? Usually server administrators, because you work on the server, and there could be other parties involved, so make sure you know when you do these kind of things, whoever is involved in this process or whoever are the owners of these um, machines and stuff like that, you need to make sure you tell them before you do these things because if you do changes and the server messes up, then you you are responsible. So, uh, and that's in the real world. So, if you have the the you know approval and everything, then you can just do this process. But I'm just saying that this could be any other application. You're just using the documentation to just do things, and that could be one of your job um, real world call. So what I will do is now I'm going to go back to Spikesworks um, in this server. Um, go to C drive, and I'm going to go to program file, and I'm going to go to Spikesworks. And here, when I deleted that two folders, I need to go ahead and paste it right here. So you can see this is coming from my old uh, Spikesworks. So now, what all I have to do is to turn on my Spikesworks and see what happens. All right, setting up, starting database update. So when you do this step, it might get stuck in this uh, page right now. Now, to do this to to make sure that it um, works, what you need to do is you should have another browser, Chrome or something like that. So if you have another browser, um, go ahead and copy this link and open another browser and go ahead and paste it. And there you go. So you need to put your username and password, email and password from the, the local computer that you had before and as soon as you do that there you go it just took the password that means the database is good you can just check everything as you guys can see um, everything should be there there you go 300, 335 machines servers um, even though this is not completed I have to still work on this stuff so um, when you get this data that mean everything is good to go you have the same Spikesworks running from a server now you can share this with other people once you have it neat and everything is good you share with other techs so then you can uh, utilize this application for more troubleshooting and it will help you in your IT um, career whatever wherever you whatever job you're doing in IT uh, I think it's a it's a good tool to have um, now if you're a brand new person and you're looking at this video we do this type of stuff so show people that uh, real world scenario so if you are brand new you can go to jobskillshare.org and you can learn this stuff from this site basically there's a lot of IT courses that we do the same type of training that I just did we just do that in a course so uh, remember in the beginning I said that spikes works and stuff like that we already did the training on it we basically show you how to install so you can go to the help desk course and the spikes was training is in um, this device inventory right here in this we have covered spikes works so you can go and uh, take the course and this is where you will, we will learn and the things that you just saw is actually a real world scenario right now I have to work on something I mean this is my work so in IT so that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in a different real world scenario